My name is Darren Winterton. I work for ST Microelectronics, and I want to demonstrate uh, a solution on how you can eliminate uh, issues with running our time of flight, uh, where the environment is a very dirty environment, or you have a situation where you want to have no calibration needed in your factory. But before I get into that, I want to give a little bit on our time of flight technology itself. So here we're showing uh, a standard time of flight device. Uh, we have an emitter, um, which is a laser Vixel. Uh, transmitting photons. The photons will travel out, hit the target, bounce off it, and come back to our sensor. Uh, knowing the amount of time that the photon traveled, we can calculate down to the millimeter that the photon traveled and give you that distance data. So we have three different products currently available on the open market. Uh, the first one is the VL6180X, the second one is the VL53L0X, and the last one is the VL53L1X. Uh, they, they all have different ranging capabilities from uh, 10 or 20 centimeters all the way out to 4 meters. So depending on the application, uh, we, we should be able to have a device ranging to the needs that you need. Just getting into uh, the issue of a dirty environment, this is showing a cross-section of our part um, in, in the typical system. You do need a cover glass with our device, and the cover glass is to protect our device from getting dirt on it um, and also to protect it just from wear and tear. The issue is um, when the green line shows how a photon should be traveling, a photon should go right through the glass, hit a target, and come back. The issue that you might have, especially if you have a dirty environment, is the photon will actually leave our device and bounce within the glass or hit the dirt and then bounce within the glass and back to our receiver. This will cause a very short distance to be seen instead of the actual target distance that you want to see. So this is a VL53L0X uh, eval board, and I just used the standard uh, piece of glass that uh, we give with our eval, cart, eval boards for uh, cover glass testing. If we just put a little bit of debris on it, you can see already uh, that instead of seeing infinity, it's now seeing a distance of two or three centimeters, meaning just a little bit of debris makes this board not work at all. I'll try to blow off the, the dirt. And we'll range again, and now you can see that it's seeing no target, but if I put my hand, it's ranging my hand just fine. So just a little bit of dirt makes this uh, very uh, unstable for actual operation in a dirty environment. The proposal that we have is showing where we're putting uh, an opaque barrier or divider between the transmitter and the receiver. So the green photons, uh, the ones that we want to hit our target and come back, uh, they still operate just as they were before. But now in the new solution, we're actually using two pieces of glass um, and, and the divider in between. So when a photon leaves and hits either the dirt or the top of the glass, instead of bouncing through the glass and back to the receiver, it's going to be hitting the barrier and either being absorbed or bounced away out in the atmosphere. And our device sees none of these erroneous photons causing a short distance. To give you a better visual of the actual uh, holder for the cover glass, this is a 3D step model, which is available uh, from ST, where if I start rotating, you can start seeing how the device is working, where you have a hole for both the transmitter and the receiver. On the bottom side, you have the hole uh, for the part to fit in, and then the light blocker uh, in the middle. So if we put on our cover glass holder, uh, where it's actually two pieces of glass with a divider, you can see now it's seen the ceiling um, better than we're seeing it before with the, the glass that we used. And it ranges my hand just fine. You can see that as I raise and lower my hand, it's ranging just fine. If we start adding debris on this device, you can see it doesn't see the ceiling anymore. But if I put my hand over the top, you can see it's ranging my hand just fine. So as I add, keep adding more debris, you can see now it's still, again, still not seeing the ceiling. But if I put my hand, it's still able to range my hand up to decent distances. So now we'll get this cover glass completely filthy. So you can see now it's completely covered in debris. But if I put my hand, you can see that it's ranging just fine. And I'm ranging up to about one centimeter so, or 10 centimeters. So it's not doing too bad um, with this dirty environment. But you can see how effective just putting uh, a simple divider uh, with two pieces of glass really uh, eliminates all crosstalk due to dirt, giving you perfect operation in a dirty environment. If you have any more questions uh, on this technology, please visit our website at www.st.com or contact your local sales representative and they'll be happy to help you out with any questions you might have. Thank you and have a good day.